we had a real young team this year. We graduated probably, I, I believe we had 26 seniors last year, and most of those guys started for us. So we, we had a handful of guys back that played a lot last year, but but not not a real lot. And uh, we weren't sure how strong we were going to be. And, and you know, I, this is one of the more fun years for me coaching. And I guess this kind of a year is always a lot of fun when uh, you don't know what to expect and, and kids work hard and, and uh, exceed your expectations. And that's certainly been the way it's been this year. So it's, it's been a lot of fun. You're 17 now. You were roughly eight years old when Longmeadow started this run. Um, do you remember the first few times you saw Longmeadow play? Yeah, I think I was in fifth grade, and I remember watching them, thinking how big they were and all that, and just the way they, they handled teams back then. And I was just waiting until I could become a part of that. So you knew from that, you know, from that early age that that's what you, you wanted to be a part of. It. Yeah, I want to be a part of the tradition. Uh, first time I saw him play was my freshman year, and, um, and uh, seeing uh, Aaron Wilkins and Aaron, uh, Mar Marquise Jenkins and all those kids, and uh, I saw a couple of old tapes, 97, 98, and how good they were back then. You know, this is a great school, a great uh, program, had a lot of tradition here. I went to one of the Super Bowls, I remember, uh, back when they had a Winston McGregor, he was like their feature back. Um, and I, I think they lost by like the, the two point conversion, um, the last play of the game, I think. But I never really uh, watched high school football uh, before I started playing, really. And I was never really into football that much uh, until I started playing. But uh, yeah, I've been, been in love with the game ever since I started. What do you think? Were there any players when you were a freshman that you looked up to that you thought, you know, sort of embodied what you wanted to be as a football player? Um, Eric Jefferson and uh, Joey Fennari, just because he was like such a, I don't know, he just had a lot of energy and he was a captain and I don't know, he just, just looked up to him. He's a good player. Uh, Dan McKenna was a quarterback when I was in fifth or sixth grade, I think, and I remember watching him throw and I love the way he threw and and then Matt Russo came after him. And I just wanted to be another quarterback for Longmeadow. One player that sticks out in my mind is like Joe Fenari. Uh, I was a freshman when he was a captain of the team. And uh, that was one of the greatest Longmeadow teams ever to, ever to play. Um, and uh, he just, to me, embodied hard work and uh, positive attitude. He's a great player. Uh, who do you keep in touch with from your playing days? Um, I actually ended up going to school with uh, my co-captain, Brett Holmes. So me and him are still very close. And uh, you know, I keep in touch with a lot of different guys. And uh, I know Coach Roscoe came to one of my games this year, so I try and keep in touch with him. And you know, you just see everybody. You know, you come back for Thanksgiving, you see a lot of the old teammates, the old players, and uh, you know, there's always something to talk about when you play football.